Hello and good morning. My name is Rob, and today we are playing Stranded Deep 1.0. I'm going through and making sure that all of my previous how-to tips and tricks videos still apply. In doing so, I decided to make a compilation of 10 1,000 plus IQ plays. So let's get started. Tip number one, a shark repellent will cure your poison, which makes sense because it is made with an antidote. Full credit goes to Cat for finding this. I'm gonna combine tip number two with this, which is your crafting menu, and this is PC exclusive. You open your crafting book, not your quick craft, and you can use the Q and E buttons to scroll through. So you don't have to use your mouse. Now we're gonna go down you have to be crafting level 4 for this. Shark repellent is a lionfish, an antidote, and a coconut flask. So we made our shark repellent. We are healthy. Ah, we are poisoned. Good. We are healthy again after drinking the shark repellent. Tip number 3. Getting revived in co-op cures all status effects. So, I am poisoned. I am going to kill myself. This is Cat. Hello, Cat. Cat is going to revive me. You can see that I am poisoned. And I also have broken bones. You're exploring with a friend and you get poisoned and it's killing you. Sometimes you can't find an antidote. You can't find a PP plant. A bandage requires one lashing, one cloth, which is something that you can find and craft a lot faster than looking for a PP plant to make an antidote. And I'm going dark, I'm dying. I can hold my breath for a long time. And here comes Cat to the rescue. And I'm in. And my poisoning is cured. And so is my broken leg. Tip number four, and this one is a doozy. Not a lot of people know about this. This is the infinite antidote hack. Get poisoned and you do ah, need an antidote. Good. But what you also need is a boat. When you climb onto a boat, it gives you an animation. During this animation, you need to drink your antidote. And my poison is cured. And I still have my antidote. I will show you again. The only thing on my person is one single antidote. Hold space. Click, click the button while you're climbing. And I am no longer poisoned and I still have an antidote. If you haven't built a boat yet, no problem. Ah, go ahead and get poisoned. Good. All you have to do is find a yellow bar. Yellow bars are found on shipwrecks and I will show you. Here's a shipwreck that is above the water. Same concept for getting on your boat. You pull out your antidote, press and hold space, click the button on your way up, and I still have an antidote. This trick also works for aloe salve, breath boost, and shark repellent. Just what I need. Aloe salve. This'll come in handy. Breath boost. And also shark repellent, but I cannot take another shark repellent because I already took one. So, it does work for that. It does not work for coconut flasks, and it does not work for rations. I tried. I wish. Tip number five. Infinite materials. What you do is create a custom island. You can see that mine is foggy and weird, and if you ever get this glitch, all you have to do is go into your game files and delete your options file. So I'm in the cartographer, all I need to do is go into items, pick what I want, drag it, drop it, save your island. It requires a description. Next thing you do is you come out and you find that island. I am a cheater island. You drag it, you drop it next door, save it, go into your game, go get your materials, come back, rinse and repeat until you have what you want built. Tip number six involves the cartographer as well and navigation, which is one of the harder things about this game you go into the cartographer and you take a screenshot and now you know what island is where where the bosses are pull up your screenshot of your cartographer 
And I know that I am on this island because it is red. And I want to travel east to this boss right here. First thing I want to do is I want to go to the east side of the island. Okay, I am on the east side of the island. And this is where I want to depart from. And I want to skate that island to the right. Okay, I am facing east. Now, what I'm going to do is get on my rudder. And I'm going to point my crosshair in the direction that I want to go. And I'm not going to move it. The only thing I'm going to do is steer my boat. So you see when I turn left and I turn right, my crosshair stays in the same spot. Now, it does drift a tiny, tiny bit, but that's only if I do something drastic, like do a full circle. If I just leave my cursor here and I don't look around, I know my cursor points east. I'm about to split this island and this island coming up. And once I get past that island, I'll be looking for this boss, whatever one it is. A tip to find them better and easier and faster and see them better is to change it from first person to third person. Now I'm in third person and it's easier to see my surroundings. I am not blocked by a sail. I do highly recommend stopping at the island next door. For me, I would probably choose this one right here and save it and get myself ready. Tip number eight. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west in real life. In this game, it rises in the east and sets in the north, northwest, but almost north. Tip number nine. Before a boss fight, if you know that you are going to need more spears, you can put them into the bottom of your boat for easy access. This only works with the wood raft floor and the tire raft floor. Spears break on buoy balls and spears break on barrels. Tip number 10. I'm going to call this the 6-4 rule. That's four plots with yucca trees and six water stills. You can have more, it's not a problem. But for me, this is a minimum. Each yucca drops six fibrous leaves. That's six, 12, 18, 24. And each water still collector takes four fibrous leaves. So that's four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So this is the perfect amount and this is just to cover your water stills at all times. Um, anything beyond this is extra and just fine, but this is bare minimum for me. Tip number 11, farming plots are stackable. And I'm going to use the fly tool to show you this. I can build a farming plot here, no problem. But once you get to a certain in-game height, I can build them anywhere and they are stackable. I'll show you a, a, a use for this in my base here that I built with Kevlar. This is where this comes in handy. Tip number 12. If you break open a box, it will give you planks depending on your crafting level. My crafting level is full. I get a full refund of two planks and one lashing. My ax just broke, so I'm gonna give you another tip. Tip number 13. This is an infinite refined ax hack, 33.8. I'm going to build a plank station with my weak ax. Then I'm going to take my strong axe, break this apart, get my full refund, and I have a brand new axe. This works at every level of craftsmanship. No matter what, you get a refined axe back. It doesn't matter that much, but you also get a 
100% crude hammer as well. Tip number 14, roof middles will build through just about anything. And you don't have to finish them to walk on them. Build right through this tree. Let's build to the right. Build right into this rock here. Keep going up through this tree. So if you wanted, you could build a ramp to the top of this mountain. The stairs are good, but you can't build them through anything like you can with roof middles. All right, I said it was gonna be 10 and it's advertised as 10, but I actually made it 15. And the reason I did that is because there are some things that are console exclusive and PC exclusive. And I wanted to balance that out. And this one is PC exclusive. If you have found the dev tool on PC and you just wanna play around with creative mode, uh, devs, if you don't release something cool like that for, for console, you guys kind of suck. Just say it. Okay. This is a weird thing that you may not think is worth anything. So to get to the dev tool, and I'll go over this in another video as well. I'll go over all the commands. To get to dev tool, you have to push backslash. And then to use it, you have to push forward slash. If I go in here and I spawn a bunch of sticks, no problem. Then I got to go down and I got to go pick them up. Okay. Well, if you press backslash and forward slash at the same time, and then press backslash again, you get a cursor that you can look around with. So you can spawn things and you can also interact in the world. So what I'm going to do is create a stick, press E, create a stick, press E. 